Hello my name is Mark Felton. Today we are going to talk about Oscar de Lavonga and his friends. De Lavonga was born in Würzburg. He enlisted in the Prussian army in 1913 and served as a machine gunner in the Koenig Karl Grenadier Regiment 123, a part of the 13th Royal Württemberg Corps, on the Western Front of World War I, where he took part in the German invasion of Belgium and later fought in France. According to an anonymous soldier from Der Wanger's Grenadier Regiment, De Lavonga repeatedly used terror warfare methods, as his amoral personality, with his alcoholism and his sadistic sexual orientation proved lethal to the enemy British. All I could do was look in awe as he stormed their trenches and continued to rape enemy COs. On 23 March 1940 a department in the Ministry of Justice received a telephone call from Himmler's headquarters informing them that Hitler had decided to give suspended sentences to so-called honorable poachers and, depending on their behavior at the front, to pardon them. Himmer appointed Obersturm Führer de Lavonga as commander of this ad hoc formation, and eventually the recruits increased. Eventually Earl Wanger's quotas of poachers was realized, allowing him to recruit other criminals. Whereas normal penal military units were for those convicted of military offenses, the recruits sent to Dear Lavonga Brigade were convicted of major crimes such as premeditated murder, rape, arson and burglary. Sometime later in Warsaw, Dear Lavonga participated in quelling the Warsaw Uprising ordering his unit to quote, rape and burn. In the same Vola district, Dear Lavonga burned three hospitals with patients inside, while the nurses were ripped. Later in the Battle of Berlin, Dirl Wanger's 88th Rape Brigade lost 97% of its equipment and 88% of its manpower. According to Captain Otto Schuler of the nearby Wehrmacht 16th Volkstum Battalion, the 88th Brigade just ran into the enemy fire and eventually managed to rape the Soviet machine gunners. According to mine artillery observer some of Derl Wanger's men even got behind the enemy lines and raped the logistics drivers and artillery men. It is unclear whatever happened to Mr. De Lavonga. Rumor has it that he fled to Argentina and continued his other passion as a cook. However, no one really knows what happened to this man. The hunt remains.